In today's episode, we're going to examine entry-level ultrasonic cleaners and my belief that they're made in the same factory. The ones that we're going to show you here look identical, so save your money and purchase the least expensive one. If they look the same to this level that we show you, more than likely are made in the same factory by the same people and there is no difference in quality. So stick around, I think you're going to find this episode very interesting. On totally another subject, Mother Nature is wonderful. Just outside our house, we can see this floating leaf that shows you how beautiful and how random nature can be. So enjoy the video. Hello friends and welcome to another Wednesday Quickie with Professor DIY and behind the camera Elvida. Today we're going to do a review and comparison of a device that not many people have, but it is a very useful device to clean everything from jewelry to car parts, to tools, to de-rust your equipment, all kinds of very interesting things that you can do. And we will start this video with Vivor, which is a device, it is an ultrasonic cleaner that we received a few years, not a few years, a few months ago, almost a year ago, almost a year ago, to do a review, but we were never able to do a review because it failed after the first attempt and I have not been able to communicate with Vivor to get a replacement. It is a pretty straightforward machine and I'm not going to uh, bash Vivor because it might be just the specific person that sent it to us. Actually, I think this just might be a manufacturing defect and not reflect the product in general. I don't know if it is the company, but I can tell you I had a very, very hard time finding a way to get service on this device, which was definitely defective. And why do I say it was definitely defective? As you can see, there is a hole there. And the moment you the water reaches that level, you start getting into the electronics. And if you continue using the machine, you're going to fry it. So we're going to do two things today. We're going to compare that in, with another machine, just looks wise, like first impressions. We're not going to use either of them. Clearly, we cannot use this. And we're going to try to fix this. If we fix it, then I'm going to do a full review of it. So we're going to show you the comparison and the attempted fix. Stick around. You are my favorite user. user. User, user. What's up, you're user? the favorite viewer, and this is going to be a very fun episode. Now, at first look, they f they seem very very similar, almost identical, identical, right? Mm -hmm. They both have electronics. The bottom placement is the same on both machines. The sides are identical, I think. The size, yeah. The top is identical. I mean, this has still the protective film, but they look. Let's see. Yep. I bet you these were made in the same factory. Probably. And wait, there is more. Especially if I do it correctly, right? <laughs> to me, that looks the same, right? I don't know about yeah, you. Pretty much. And the cable is the same. It's the computer style plug. Mm -hmm. It's the same for both. Okay. So first impressions, they're both two liters. They both have I, I cannot find the difference. Can you, Mrs. Elpida? Uh, nothing substantial. I mean, the only difference is that this has a little more substantial uh, legs than this. This is yeah. the Vivor. And this is the US what? US Solid. US Solid. Mm -hmm. But it looks like they're interchangeable, though. Yeah. Size-wise, it's the same. The same basic design. Obviously, the branding is a little bit different, but... And I like the design. That's a nice looking. It's not very big. It will not take a lot of space, right? So first impressions for both are great. I hope this one works. And we're going to attempt now to repair this. If we repair it in a different episode, we're going to test it. If we do not repair it in that different episode, we're going to test only the US General. What is it called? US Solid. Solid. US Solid, right? I would like to compare both to see what is the differences or what is the similarities, right? Mm -hmm. But they both have heat. Let me look. Yeah. So they both heat it. Heat, ultrasonic, timers. It looks like, to me, that looks a different uh, label here. Yeah. I mean, even, even the mold inside. To me, this is the identical machine. Yeah. I see zero differences. Okay. So last weekend, and we didn't make a video for it, but we used a steel stick to repair a manifold exhaust leak we had in one of our cars. So I was thinking, very successfully I might add, and I was thinking if this can leak exhaust fumes, 
they should be able to leak. If this can stop exhaust fumes from leaking, it should be able to stop water from leaking in here, right? So what we're going to try and do today is uh, take a small piece, make a small plug, put it there, try and make it as flaccid as we can and see if it holds water. So let us show you these processes we did not show you. The process is identical when you work on a car, right? So it's just a little easier because you're not upside down under a car. Mm -hmm. So let us get ready and we'll show it to you. It is important you wear gloves for this. And take a small piece. I, I don't know if we can show it there. There is a core that is a different color than the outside. Darker gray there. Right, and, and you take a piece of both. So make sure you have pieces of both more than that, I think. Yeah. Okay, and then you knead it. Knead. Knead. Mm -hmm. Until it's all a uniform color. Again, we did that last week and we had a huge exhaust manifold leak in our car and we do not have a huge exhaust manifold leak in our car anymore, so it worked. So that's the only direction, right? To, to do it until it is a uniform color. Does it look uniform to you? Not quite. And break it apart and rejoin it, you know, whatever you need mm -hmm. to make sure to. Now this will harden and it did harden in the car. So if we did it right here, it will harden into a, a very, very strong consistency okay. like steel. Mm -hmm. And now press it in the hole and then uh, flare it outside. We could have given it a better chance to be successful by probably using a little bit of a sandpaper. Yeah. And if this comes off, I might do that, right? So you will know, of course, where the repair was. This is not going to be an invisible repair. But I don't care. As long as it works, I'm happy. Right? Okay. So this is our repair. And we're going to test. Can you check around? I don't see any other problem area. Mm -mm. That's Vivor here. I have other Vivor projects and I'm, I'm pleased with them. But definitely when it comes to customer care, I was unable to find support for this. We're going to wait. The instructor said wait 10 minutes. We're going to wait 10 minutes and see if it holds water. We'll do that off camera. If it holds water, then in a couple of weeks, we're going to do another quick showing you how this works in comparison with a US solid one. We hope you enjoyed this little short video. And if you did, we'll appreciate the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the other button twice. Share, like, subscribe, let us know. Do you like content like this? And what else you might want to see from our channel? From Professor DIY, Elpida and Mrs. DIY, let's test something together.